I've been investigating this scam call center for a few days. I showed a scammer her own picture. The other picture in the desktop is me. I hacked a manager and I confronted the CEO. So I beg of you, stop calling. Name your price and stop calling. And now I'm going to destroy them. You might be wondering how we get scammer photos. Sometimes the scammer gives us information like their email, and with some basic open source intelligence techniques, it's not hard to get their photos. Step one, get the right scammer on the phone. Thank you for calling technical support. This is technician Daisy. How may I assist you today? Great. We got her on the phone. Yes, I think I have a virus. Hello, in a computer? Is, are you using computer or desktop? Yes, or desktop, desktop. Desktop, okay. What a stupid question. And. Um, since long, how are you facing this problem? It's one year old. One year old, okay. And what was the last work you are doing with your computer? A few minutes. They are so stupid, they don't even realize they are talking to a robot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, first, I have to diagnose your computer to know what the exact problem is and why you are facing this problem, right? So for that... I see this internet security warning Do system you know security at risk. It has your number. Yep, exactly. That's why it call is... They use sites like this. I know an old person might accidentally mistype google.com and they will come across a pop-up like this one. This is a totally fake and bogus website made by these scammers to trick you and your loved ones into calling the phone number. I could literally open this on any computer, even a Mac, and I will get this same warning from Microsoft. I know a lot about Daisy. She lives in this street. The call centre where she works is located here. Not only do I have her exact coordinates, I also have her real pictures. She uses fake pictures to catfish men online and get money, but this is what she actually looks like. Once she connects to my computer, we are going to show her the pictures and confront her. I'm just trying to diagnose. I'm moving this cursor. Do you see that? Okay, yes. Daisy is now going to run the tree command. She will claim she is doing a virus scan. What is this black window? I see hackers use this in movies. Pardon? What is this black window? I see hackers use this in movies. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm trying to diagnose why you are facing this problem. Let me know. The tree command is not a virus scanner. It simply lists all the files on the computer. Are you using bro broadband, Wi-Fi, or lease LAN, or something like hard LAN? LAN. Where is LAN? Okay. My web provider is at NT. A. D. N. D. Mac Malcolm, yes. do you have network security with your computer? That didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have it. Now, while the tree command is running, she's going to paste a message saying my computer is infected. Let me diagnose why you're facing this problem. I am now going to confront her. I will open her picture on my computer. Is that you on the screen? Is that you? No. This is her picture. Let's ask again. This is your picture. How did you get that picture? I hacked you and I got your pictures. If you keep denying that's you, it will only get worse. The other picture in the desktop is me. These pictures are not hers. They belong to an Indian actress. She uses them to catfish guys online and get gifts. She scams as her full-time job and as her hobby. Your computer is fixed. Feel free to call here again if you need another problem later. Did she just say, if I need another problem later, I am going to call her back immediately and I will call her call center 100 times per second. Once her call center is down, I'm going to call her on her private number and I will force her to admit that it's her picture. The call flutter ran for a few hours. After I called back, the number was down. Child is not in service. I'm going to call Daisy on her cell phone. But first, let's hear how I will drive her scam call center to insanity. I have a dream that one day every person in this nation will control their own nanomachines. So listen to me, sir. This is a 14th time you called over here, okay? Let's it's a technical problem, so we have a lot of work to do. So don't call over here. Let's give Daisy a call and confront her again. Her real name is Nayasha. Hello, Nayasha. Hello, hello. I am the hacker, so your call center has been shut down. After a few minutes, she finally admitted to using fake pictures. Why do you use fake pictures? Because people tell me all the time I look like her. I just need an old job. <laughs> it's good to have self-confidence. But come on. Now I'm going to force her to become my informant. Forcing the scammers to work for me is easy once I have their real information. It usually requires threatening to tell the police or their parents about their illegal activities. Most scammers fold very quickly. You will work for me? Yes. You will refer to me as yes sir? Yes sir. 
You can tell by her voice that she is terrified. Naisha gave me a ton of useful files about the call centre, which allowed me to later expose many of the scammers working there, including scammer Steve, as well as his manager. No, 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 uh, do not open that. Line. It's Kevin do Morris. Not open that. Do not so open I just that. got to know uh, from my technician that you're a hacker, right? And finally, Naisha helped me expose the CEO of the call centre. So please stop, we are losing thousands every day. If you keep this up, I will have to shut down my company. Many people will lose their jobs. Many scammers will lose their jobs because I am not going to stop. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a good day.